Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I am Holly Lenora and today's video we are doing a foundation wear test. If you've been watching me, you already know I love a good foundation wear test. And for today we have the new filter effect from Morphe. This is supposed to be that flawless Instagram filter on your face. I have it on right now. So just keep watching to see how it applies, how it lasts. And if you are new, thank you for clicking on me. I would love it if you would subscribe and enjoy the video. Okay, you guys, let's dive right in. This is the Morphe Filter Effect, another filter in a bottle. Foundation, is it a foundation? Oh, well. Filter in a bottle. This is in the shade Light 8. And this foundation is infused with hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and glycerin. This is long-wearing, oil-free, natural finish, hydrates the skin, blurs imperfection, and gives the ultimate soft focus look. It is medium to full coverage. And before we get into the actual foundation, just like any other foundation that I would wear, I am going to prime my face as well as color correct just to give it a fair shot. Let's do it. Okay, now we are ready, now that I look crazier than I did before, we are ready to dive into this foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. It is a frosted bottle. It's very pretty, very sleek looking glass packaging. On this side of my face, I will use a beauty blender and then on this side, I will use a makeup brush. The pump is really cool looking. Got a perfect little spot for your finger. Cool. Gonna start with just the one pump. So this may be a little too light for me. Well, maybe not. So it blends very nicely. Now this is just with the one pump, but it has settled into my skin very well. It doesn't look, it's not sitting on top of my skin. It definitely has become one with my skin. Now that's just with one pump, but let's go ahead and throw on another one. So it is a very soft finish, just like it says on the package. This definitely has yellow undertones, but it's okay. It's fine. So it's laying down really, really nicely. Now we're gonna go in with a brush. And for purchasing the Morphe foundation, they gave me a free Morphe foundation brush. So we will go in with that and see how that works out for us. So the brush looks like this. Okay, so I definitely prefer the Beauty Blender um, as opposed to this brush. You can totally make it work with the brush. It's just gonna take longer stippling things in and pushing things into your skin as opposed to just taking your Beauty Blender and bouncing it. Okay, so after working with the brush, I did get it pretty much how I like it. If you purchase the foundation and you don't get the brush for free, don't worry about it. Don't, I would not go and buy it. Um, it's a cool little gift, but I would just stick with my beauty blender, especially when doing anything medium to full coverage. Just go ahead and use your beauty blender. This is the foundation with no concealer, no nothing, just the foundation and what we have put underneath on the base of our skin. I am going to finish my face and I will be right back. Okay, you guys, so the foundation is on. I have put on a full face, kind of glam, not so glam, kind of a, a soft glam, just kind of got ready for the day. I have noticed something and I actually just noticed it. I hope you guys can see it. This, it has settled into my fine lines on my forehead. Not okay, not okay. We can definitely, definitely fix that, but it's just something that I've noticed and I'm gonna fix that right now. <laughs> okay, that's better. That was a little unexpected, but 
we roll with it we're gonna roll with the punches and we're gonna continue to wear this I am doing I say eight hours but it's give or take um, right now we are at 1 12 in the afternoon sorry I was listening to music as I was getting ready um, I will do a check-in we will see how this lasts how it works I'm not going to touch it up block my face I don't do anything I just let the foundation be and that starts right now so I will see you back here in a little bit time for a check-in here we are it is 432 in the evening haven't done much today well that's not true I edited went to Ulta checked on those guys you know anyways foundation so I've established some thoughts on it but I will wait until the end to share those with you it does look like I'm looking right now and it does look very airbrushed I think it looks very soft I haven't touched it up I can see just a touch of shininess but nothing nothing to worry about like I think after that one miss, I can still see my fine lines. I feel like maybe it's emphasizing them. I don't, I don't know exactly. And that may have been how I applied it or maybe it didn't play well with something that I applied it with or put on top of the concealer, who knows. Um, but I'm not going to just quickly place blame on the foundation itself. But so far it is holding up pretty well. Hmm. Let me know what you guys think. I will be back in about five hours for the final check-in. So stay tuned for that. I am going to go eat a snack. Okay. Okay. Okay, you guys. Final check-in. So first thing I want to say, first thing that I noticed right off the bat is it does look really really good really really flawless in pictures i will post a couple right here so you can see what i'm talking about how airbrushed and flawless my skin looks it does look filtered it looks very smooth that's beautiful second thing i want to say is i like this lots better than the charlotte silbury flawless filter this guy right here and this is significantly more expensive than the morphe filter effect twenty dollars versus i think 44 so that's a plus i also want to add that if you have oily skin like just straight up oily skin you might have problems now take into consideration i did not blot i didn't do touch-ups i absolutely did nothing to this foundation which normally, of course, I would do, I would touch it up and everything, but on wear tests, I do like to just play it out and see how it does without any help from me. So I will come up closer so you can get a closer look. Ignore anything that's messed up. I did touch up my lips, but my eyes, I just look past it. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can certainly see that it is pretty texturized around here i don't know if you can see that my pores are really showing through a lot more than they normally would with a foundation that i know and trust this is a really really pretty foundation and like i said if i'd have touched it up and stuff it would have done just fine would i recommend this foundation i will word it like this if you have a foundation that you love don't think you're going to replace it with this one if you're in the looks for a medium coverage soft foundation this would be a good buy for you if you already have one that you just know and love don't i wouldn't make a special trip for this if you take a lot of photos a lot of selfies whatever it is that you do yes go get it but once again if you already have a foundation that you are just crazy about and it does everything you need it to do just stick with that all right I'm just being honest with you sister okay it is so past time for me to take this off get in some sweats and get ready for bed so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me until the end it is always fun hanging out with you guys if you haven't already I would love it if you would subscribe and I will see you on the next video bye